What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 70 free iOS 14.3 tweaks. All the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Tap Tap Lock allows you to easily put your device to sleep by either double tapping or triple tapping any empty area on your home screen. And if you head over to the settings for this tweak you can determine whether you want to use the double tap or triple tap gesture in addition to the ability to enable and disable the tweak. Five Icon Dock allows you to place an additional fifth icon in your dock. Noir allows you to easily enable and disable dark mode by pulling to refresh in the settings application just like that. Normally in iOS when you want to edit an alarm you have to select the edit button and then tap on the alarm that you want to edit. However with easy edit alarms you could just tap on the alarm that you want to edit without ever having to press the edit button first. Cast Switcher brings the iPad's grid style app switcher to the iPhone. Chroma Home Bar X brings a really neat alternating color style home bar to gesture based iPhones as you can see and if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak there's a whole host of options to configure. Circle settings makes all the icons in the settings application circular as you can see. Color my dock allows you to easily change the color of your dock just by double tapping any empty space on the dock and then you could choose any color you want and press X and it applies just like that. Roman pad changes your passcode digits on the lock screen and the digits in your phone dialer to Roman numerals as you can see. And while we're on the topic of Roman numerals Tempest Romanum will change the time on your device to Roman numerals. You could also configure it to have an effect in the cover sheet area as you can see as well. And of course this can all be configured inside the settings for the tweak. Anim My Badges gives a really neat animation effect to your badges. As you can see I have this neat pulsating heartbeat effect on my messages application there because I have a badge. And of course if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak you can enable and disable it and choose between a few animations. And speaking of app badges, Be Gone allows you to temporarily dismiss a badge notification from any application on your device using the quick actions menu. Normally in iOS, Apple does not allow you to customize and rearrange the top area of your control center. You're only able to control the bottom area down here. However, with CC support, you're able to rearrange and remove any of the modules from the top area of the control center. If you guys head over to the control center settings, as you can see, all the options that are normally not available to us, like connectivity, media controls, orientation lock, etc., are now available. So we could go ahead and rearrange and remove these at our leisure. And as you can see, the changes do take effect immediately. So CC support is a great standalone tweak, as you can see. However, it's also a framework for developers to create their own control center modules. And one of those is Power module, which allows you to add some really useful power options right to the control center, for instance, reboot, respring, etc. And while we're on the topic of the control center, here's Cowbell. This tweak adds your current battery percentage to the low power mode module in the control center if you have it added. Color My Battery will change the color of the battery indicator on your device based on the current charge level of your device. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can determine what colors will show at different levels of charge. So as you can see, my current battery charge level is 60 64% and I have this purplish indicator and as you can see here in the settings from 61 to 65% it is set to this purplish color. Drag Enabler brings the drag and drop feature from iPad OS to iOS. For instance as you can see here I could grab a link from Safari for instance and put it in another application. For instance Notes as you can see just like that. Reach to Lock X allows you to easily lock your device using the reachability gesture and of course if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak there's some options to configure one of which being the ability to configure a double swipe gesture to preserve the reachability function. App Library Disabler will completely disable the App Library feature in iOS 14. As you can see here, when swiping to the left on my last home screen page, the App Library no longer appears. Vinyl allows you to make the lock screen slash cover sheet area's media player much more small and compact, as you can see. And if you head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure. Normally in iOS, when you disable the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggles from the control center, it only temporarily rarely disables them. However, with CC on and off, it fully disables them. As you can see right here, if I turn them off here, you can see they're fully off. They have the line through them. And as you can see here in the settings, they are fully off. Hide Labels 13 removes all of the app labels from your home screen. Hide Bar X hides the home bar that appears at the bottom of the screen on the lock screen and when you're inside of applications on gesture-based iPhones. Hide NC Text hides the text that says Notification Center above a notification or a group of notifications within the cover sheet of iOS 
going for a cleaner look. And while we're here in the cover sheet, here's numberfications. This tweak replaces the X on the close button above a notification or a group of notifications with the number of notifications that's there. However, no functionality is lost. You can still tap on the button and have the ability to clear the notifications as you're normally able to do. And here's a few more simple tweaks for the cover sheet area. No CC bar will hide the little grabber that appears in the upper right hand side of the screen, indicating that you can swipe down for the control center, of course, going for a cleaner appearance. And we also have hide no older notifs, which hides the text that says no older notifications when there's no notifications in your cover sheet. Easy swipe allows you to easily access the control center and the cover sheet through swipe gestures on the home screen. By default, this tweak is configured so when you swipe down on the right side of your home screen, it'll take you to your control center. And when you swipe down on the left side of your home screen, it'll take you to your cover sheet. And when you swipe anywhere in the middle, it'll just take you to your spotlight search as it normally does. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can configure which swipe gesture will perform which action in addition to the ability to enable and disable the tweak. Normally in iOS, the text selection menu is word-based. As you can see, you know, it says select all, select, paste, cut, copy, etc. However, with menu support, as you can see, it's now icon based. So it goes for a more clean and compact look. No icon fly in 13 removes the animation that's normally present when you unlock your device. So as you can see right here, normally there on the left, you'll get that zoom in animation. But as you saw on the right, the lock screen just slides up and your icons are right there with no animation. Normally in iOS, when you swipe to the left on a notification or a group of notifications, you'll have the option to manage the notification settings for that app. However, if you you don't want that to be there, don't manage my notifications, we'll remove that option as you can see. Normally in iOS, when you redirect it from one application to another application, you'll have a breadcrumb in the upper left hand corner here to go back to the previous app. However, if you want to remove that feature, no breadcrumb 13 does do that. Oh My Flash allows you to set the flashlight on your device to automatically turn itself off after a specified amount of time. So to set this up, head over to the settings for this tweak, and in here you have the ability to enable and disable the tweak, and of course you can input how many minutes you want the flashlight to turn off after. So I'm going to put in one minute for this demonstration and press save. So now whenever the flashlight is on, after a minute, it will automatically turn itself off. Now, of course, I sped things up for the sake of time, but as you can see here, it does indeed turn itself off after a minute. Normally in iOS, when you want to access the markup options when editing a photo, you have to select these three dots at the top and then select markup. However, quick markup places the markup button right there in the upper right hand corner, so you don't have to press those three dots first. Blank Pass makes the passcode buttons on your lock screen completely empty, going for a clean look. Rounded CC gives your control center modules a new round look as you could see. Settings Collapse allows you to collapse the specific sections of the settings app to go for a more compact look. No functionality is lost though, you could still scroll through all the options and of course tap on them to access them as normal. Of course you could re-expand them just by selecting show more like that. Any key trackpad allows you to enter trackpad mode on the keyboard by tapping and holding on keys that aren't the space bar as you could see right here. Now of course devices with 3D touch are able to enter trackpad mode by 3D touching anywhere on the keyboard. However, this tweak allows you to enter trackpad mode just by tapping and holding on keys that aren't the spacebar, regardless of whether you have a 3D touch device or not. Battery alert will give you a notification whenever you disconnect your device from a power source, as you can see right there. Normally in iOS, when you want to clear all of your recent call history, you have to select the edit button and then clear. However, with clear recent calls, you're able to do so with a new button at the top of the screen without having to press that edit button first. And just to let you know, in order to get this tweak working, I did have to go into the settings for it, disable it, re-enable it, and then close the phone application in the app switcher and then reopen it. So if the new clear button isn't appearing in your phone app, you might have to do that. Clean tabs 13 removes the labels from the tabs that appear at the bottom of a variety of applications to go for a cleaner appearance. No badge will hide all of the app badges from your home screen app icons. However, it does have a blacklist feature that allows you to set certain applications to still show badges. So for instance, let's say I wanted to still have app badges on my messages app. App, I could enable that in the blacklist option and then once I apply that change by respringing as you can see here the messages app will still have badges but again all the other applications that are not blacklisted will not show app badges. However if you want a tweak that removes all of your app badges with no options to configure Vixie will do that. So it hides all of the app badges from your home screen icons with again no options to configure. Delete cut allows you to easily delete whole words at a time. Just tap and hold on the shift button and you'll notice the delete
delete key will turn red. And when you tap on the delete key in this state, as you can see, it deletes whole words at a time. Normally in iOS, when you search something in spotlight search and then tap on a result and then come back to spotlight search, the text that you just typed would still be there. However, with spot clear on close, that automatically clears the spotlight search as soon as you tap on a result to keep your spotlight search clean. Swipe shift caret allows you to easily move your cursor through text just by swiping on the screen just like this. Volume percent adds a percentage to the volume HUD. As you can see, it works in both the expanded view and in the shrunken view. Tap tap flip allows you to easily switch between the rear facing camera and the front facing camera just by double tapping in the viewfinder. Clear dock 12 completely removes the blur effect behind the dock on the home screen, as you can see. Normally in iOS, when you swipe from left to right on a notification to open it up, it's gonna open up the full application that the notification came from to the notification. However, with slide to show notification, as you can see here, it just expands the notification itself rather than opening up the full application. Normally in iOS, when you're using the reachability feature and you tap on options, as you can see here, reachability will automatically dismiss itself. However, with stay down, as you can see, reachability will continue to stay activated even after you tap on elements on the screen. Now, of course, reachability will automatically time out on its own, or you could slide up on this arrow to dismiss it, or you could just swipe up from the bottom like that to dismiss reachability. But once again, tapping on an option or tapping on the empty space at the top of the screen will not dismiss it like it normally does in iOS. Normally in iOS, when you have multiple different keyboards added on your device and you tap the globe icon, it's just gonna cycle you through all of the different keyboards. However, with keyboard Accio, tapping the globe icon is only gonna cycle you through your first two keyboards. So as you can see for me, that's English and Emoji. So as you can see here, when I single tap the globe icon, it's just going to cycle me between those two first keyboards. Now, of course, I can still access all the others by tapping and holding on the globe icon and selecting whichever one I want. But again, as soon as I single tap the globe icon, it's going to go back to cycling me between my first two keyboards. And while we're here in the messages app, here's small message app drawer. So normally in iOS, when you scroll from left to right on this app bar here, as you can see here on the left, the bar expands. But if you don't want that to happen, you can see there, small message app drawer will prevent that bar from expanding as soon as you scroll. And here's another tweak for this same area of iOS. This is called mini messages and it completely hides the app store bar and the camera button as you can see. So if you don't find yourself using either of those, this definitely cleans things up. Normally in iOS, when do not disturb mode is enabled, there's a banner in your cover sheet slash lock screen area telling you that you're in do not disturb. However, no D&D banner completely removes that. And here's another do not disturb related tweak. This one's called low power power DND. This will automatically enable low power mode as soon as you enable do not disturb mode on your device. And as soon as you disable do not disturb mode, low power mode will automatically be disabled as well. Normally in iOS, when you slide from left to right on a notification, you'll first get the option to open it. And if you slide all the way, it'll execute the command and fully open up the notification. Same thing goes when you're sliding from right to left, you'll get the option to clear in addition to some other options. But if you slide all the way, it'll execute the clear command. With easy notifications, this is simplified. As you can see if you swipe just gently from left to right, it'll go ahead and execute the open command immediately. And the same thing goes for when you swipe from right to left. As you can see, it automatically performs the clear command and it removes the other options. So the swipe sensitivity is increased and it removes those other options. Normally in iOS, when you tap and hold on the globe icon or the smiley face icon, you'll get a list of all the keyboards on your device in addition to the ability to go to your keyboard settings and some one-handed keyboard options at the bottom. Hide KB settings allows you to hide the button that takes you to your keyboard settings and the one-handed options. And if you head over to the settings for this tweak, you can determine which of those two things you want to hide or leave visible. Normally in iOS, the application title of notification banners is all capital, as you can see right there. However, lower the notifs makes the application titles and banners all lowercase, as you can see. Bounce it adds a very springy animation to when you open and close applications, go into the app switcher, and same thing goes for opening and closing folders, as you can see. Normally in iOS, the top bar of the conversation view of the messages app is slightly transparent. So when you're scrolling through your messages, you'll see a blurred version of the blue bubbles, just very subtle in the top bar. However, solid messages banner completely removes that effect. Photo in 
info will show the disk usage and resolution of photos and videos in the photos application. As you can see, it displays that information right at the top. Prediction shortcuts gives you pasteboard shortcuts in the predictive text section of your keyboard, as you can see. And as you're seeing here, you're still able to get those word suggestions if you want them. This just appears when this space isn't being used. So of course, you could use these shortcuts to select all, cut, copy, paste, etc. as you can see here, right from the predictive bar. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can configure it to your liking. No dictation will remove the dictation icon that's normally present at the bottom of the keyboard on gesture-based iPhones, as you can see. No T tap delay will make it so when you tap on a beta notification within 0.5 seconds of its arrival, it will not launch the application, as you can see. However, if you tap on it after 0.5 seconds of it appearing, of course, it will open up as usual. This is to prevent accidental taps an instant after a notification's arrival. Now playing icon will display the album artwork of the music that you're currently listening to on the application that you're playing the music from, as you can see. In numerous instances throughout iOS, this bar can appear above the keyboard that allows you to easily skip between text fields or press done to dismiss the keyboard. If you want to remove this bar to go for a cleaner look, topless keyboard does do that, as you can see. Battery home bar places your current battery level right on the home bar of gesture-based iPhones, as you can see. And of course, if you head over to the settings for this tweak, you can configure a few different options. No C share will remove the airdrop slash contact suggestions that can appear in the share sheet if those are bothering you. This tweak also allows you to both rearrange and remove airdrop from your favorite sharing options. As you can see here, normally in iOS, you're not able to rearrange airdrop or remove it from the favorites section, but now you're able to do that. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.